to the journey with yours truly, Johnny Jules, down here grabbing my mail. And I figure I'd make a video for all those out there that talk about I need a man's truck and my little truck don't do much. And yeah, they say that, but uh, my little alien mobile does a lot of hauling. So uh, I'll show you the hay. As you saw in the clips, I went ahead and I got four of these huge bales of hay. That's six foot there so you can see it's you know basically five foot tall big old round bigger than the zebu and uh, they're out there eating and this is the new thing on the homestead is that big old big old green silo or er, green red silo i can't see colors today so i just got done i just hauled it on the flatbed trailer just used the tractor to get it lifted up so that is a five ton grain silo so you can see height of the truck is only at that base and then it goes up and up and up and up and up all the way so the reason i did this is because i save basically an another dollar per bag and i go through uh 65 to 70 bags per month which is five or six pallets something like that it's like five or six pallets times 40 bags on pallet, whatever that comes out to. So it's a dollar per bag more that I save. I don't have to haul it here. Uh, so that's less wear and tear on the truck. And I don't have to deal with um, 55 gallon or 55, 50 pound sacks of feed. I can just put a five gallon bucket right here, which is less weight. And uh, bring my side by side up here with a bunch of five gallon buckets in it and just fill the five gallon buckets and that way I'm not having to move any weight or anything like that there's the ladder that goes all the way up to the top and uh, so this is the new investment here and saving on fuel and everything else on the truck plus a dollar extra per bag by getting it in bulk I will end up saving just over 15,000 a year and this right here was $2,600, the silo. And the silo will be paid back within four and a half months if you do the math on the mileage I got to drive, the gas, the wear and tear, and the dollar per bag um, per month times four and a half months. Uh, this breaks even at four and a half months. And then after that, I'm saving a dollar per bag or however many per ton. $41 per ton than I normally spent. So the other great part is you can see all those sacks that I didn't get out on Sunday to the trash. I don't have to deal with all those uh, bags. I don't have all that trash to deal with and uh, makes life a lot easier. But everybody keeps telling me, they're like, man, you've got to get a bigger truck, which I was in process getting a bigger truck and then didn't realize the whole title work here in Arkansas. Uh, took so long, uh, 10 weeks, they didn't want to hold the truck at the dealership. And then, of course, with everything uh, financially, I wasn't able to do payments when it came around to go back and try to get the truck again. Plus, I had put all the miles on the truck, so now the truck's got over 92000 versus uh, 42000 when I went in. So I wouldn't get as much money, so the payments be a lot higher, so on and so forth. But I'm pretty happy because this truck... Like I said, hauls that, hauled all the big bales of hay, and uh, hauled all the animals and stuff, minus the camels. So, not too shabby of a truck. A little beat up, but uh, it's a farm truck. That's life on the homestead. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll uh, film when they get here to fill, fill, the, gra ugh, fill, fill the grain bin. See, I still got to get some sleep. Still exhausted from all this traveling. Got back just after midnight uh, from Kansas. That's where I went to get the hay because uh, people around here got scatterbrained and scared and hogged all the hay like they did toilet paper. So with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow when they're here and enjoy the rest of your day.